So this is Renault Auto's GT40 Tribute. They're called a GT40 because they're 40 inches high from the ground. I'm not a tall guy, you can see how high that is. This car is amazing, it is a work of art. The fab work on the exhaust here, the individual throttle bodies that are run, they're drive-by wire throttle bodies, they've got a Haltech running this car. I, I can't tell you enough about it. I think we're actually gonna to have to go to Renner and do a feature on the workshop in this car. Okay, we're here in the Street Machine Hall of Fame at Motor X and I found this 1969 Holden Hurricane. It's such a cool vehicle. So this was built as a concept car to show what Holden could do back in the 60s. Um, it's got a mid-mounted 4-litre V8. It's obviously got this futuristic canopy. There's so much futuristic stuff in this car. It's got a camera for rear vision. Um, it's got actually a guidance system, like a, a route guidance system, long before SatNav was ever a thing. Of course, it doesn't have a Haltech because Haltech wasn't invented in 1969, but if it was, it would definitely have a Haltech. You can't come to an Aussie car show and not see a Holden Ute. And Ute Lose is one of the coolest Holden Utes here. Now, it might look like a show car from the outside with its suicide doors and custom bronze paint, but it's also got plenty of go. That is a 403 cubic inch LSX with forged internals and a huge GTX 47 turbo. It's all run by a Haltech Elite 2500. One of the very cool things that's happening here at MotorX this weekend is here on the Street Machine stand. The guys from Carnage are doing a sort of a live show, aren't you, Broad? Yeah, exactly. Andrew Broadley, who you may know from our mass debate videos, um, is here and he's doing a bit of work on his Tirana. But you've had the Tirana for a long time, I believe. You've got a bit of a history? Absolutely, mate, yeah. I, uh, we dragged the car out of a paddock when I was about 14 years old. Right. Um, and with the help of a lot of really good mates, pieced it together. It's had a bunch of different combos over the years. Started out with a triple carb Holden 6, went to a fuel-injected Holden V8, um, and now this, a, a different fuel-injected Holden V8. That's, uh, yeah, this weekend we've stuck one of Harrop's brand new TBS 2300 blower kits on it. Um, which is a really nice piece. So um, yeah, it's been exciting, been a good weekend. Yeah, this is a genuine GDR Tirana, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is, genuine GDR. Yeah. Um, a lot of people would probably dis be displeased with the fact that we put a V8 <laughs> in it, but ultimately the car's not cut or anything. It could be returned yeah. to stock, but right. that's not something that's on my to-do list. You anything silly like put a rotor or a Honda engine in or anything? No, like no, 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 I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> so tell us a bit about the Carnage Live. What's the story here? Well, basically, yeah, over on this side, um, we've, we've got this Harrow blower going onto my Tirana, and over behind us, uh, Scotty Taylor is working on the Mr. Dodgy uh, Dodge Phoenix. Uh, it's got a 440 big block Mopar in it. Uh, he's doing a uh, cam and head swap on that okay. to give it a few more herbs. So. And you're just doing it live in front of the crowd so that we can see what you're doing? Ab absolutely mate, yeah, which is a, you know, um, a scary thing to do sometimes, but yep. I've, I've had the help from a couple of really good mates who have been helping me wrench on the car for over 20 years. So yeah, nice. um, yeah it's been fun. And this car has been a Haltech car for a long time? Yes, yes yeah. it has, yeah. With the previous combo that was in the car, we were running this old girl, the uh, E6 GMX. Yeah, a bit of, a, bit of an antique. Um, but yeah, with the upgrade to the blower, we've um, we've gone to a, a more modern sport GM. Yep. Same deal, plug and play ECU. We literally yanked this thing out, plug the, the sport GM in and, and away we went. But just gives us a bit more functionality. Um, you know, we can expand it to, to do flex fuel down the track, which is something yep. I'd really like to play with. Um, and the other benefit, of course, is that we can throw out the Commodore 64 that we were using to tune this thing. <laughs> Very good. Well, man, we love the, the Carnage Live. Love the Street Machine guys here. Thanks for having a chat with us. Mate, thank you. And um, thanks for keeping the dream alive for us Holden guys with, um, you know, a nice, simple plug-and-play yeah. solution for these engines. No worries, mate. Cheers.